Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to bring you Pro Strategy Football 2021 WFL USFL AAFC League Copa America Bowl 4. I have simmed three seasons today and I just had fun watching results and looking at stats. In the first three Copa America Bowls, Copa America Bowl 1, the Florida Blazers out of the World Football League defeated the Houston Gamblers in overtime, and boy was that a wild one. Florida would repeat in Copa America Bowl 2, this time defeating the Cleveland Browns who were 16-0. and Their only loss came in the Copa America Bowl. That's an ouch. Copa America Bowl 3 saw a, another familiar face, the Houston Gamblers, back in it, and they defeated the upstart Memphis Southmen. All three of the first Copa America Bowls have been decided late in the game and less than a touchdown. They've been outstanding. I didn't record any of them. I didn't even I just simmed them and read the stats and they were and watched the highlights. They were fun. The Cleveland Browns are 16 and 0. They are 7 point favorites over the 15 and 1 Michigan Panthers. The Panthers are out of the USFL, the Cleveland Browns, the AAFC, the All-American Football Conference. And once again, they come to the championship game 16 and 0. Can they pull off the undefeated season or Will the one once defeated meant, uh, excuse me, Michigan Panthers upset the Browns? We shall find out. Copa America Bowl 4 upcoming. Over under 50 points. Once again, Browns 7 point favorites. Let's scout the teams. This is PC versus PC. And let's start with the 15 and 1 Michigan Panthers. Panthers, run blocking, pass blocking, both sevens. Red zone offense, team discipline, both sixes. Ball security, they'll cough it up a bit. It's a four. Two-minute offense is a six, and this is a neutral field game. So home or away does not matter. I believe it's a neutral field game. If it's a road game in Cleveland, well, then they're a four rating on the road. Run defense, pass defense, both sevens. Pass rush is a six for the Michigan Panthers. Red zone offense, very good. They score when they get down there. It's an eight. Causing fumbles, defensive stamina, controlling and preventing the big play by their opponent. All three are sixes. For the Cleveland Browns, run blocking, pass blocking, eights. Red zone offense, nine. Team discipline, five. Ball security, five. Two-minute offense, seven. And they're excellent at home or on the road. Again, I don't recall if this is a neutral game. They're both nines there. Run defense, 8. Pass defense, 7. Pass rush is a 6. So Bobby Bear might have enough time to do some damage against this Browns defense. Red zone defense, slightly above average at a 6. They cause fumbles at a 5. Defensive stamina, controlling or preventing big plays, both 6s. Cleveland's coaching. That would be Paul Brown. He loves to run the ball. They're balanced. They take typical risks. And they'll mostly run the fullback, Marion Motley. When they throw, they like to throw to their wide receivers. They'll bounce between 3-4 and 4-3 on defense. They favor zone coverage, and they have a typical blitzing tendency. For the 1984 Michigan Panthers head coach, Jim Stanley, they're a balanced offensive attack. They take balanced, typical risks. They'll run mostly with the halfback, and they too like to throw to their wideouts. They favor a 3-4. 
They bounce between man and zone on defense. Their blitzing tendency is a typical blitzing tendency. Offensive line for the Panthers, Godfrey, McGriff, Wadloff, Penny, Osborne, extra offensive lineman, Wiska. For the 1948 Cleveland Browns, Groza, Ulinski, Gatsky, Guadio, Reinkusk, extra offensive lineman, Houston. The offense for the 1948 Cleveland Browns. Otto Graham is the quarterback. Edgar Jones, the halfback. Marion Motley, the fullback. Your receivers, Max Speedy, Dante Lavelli, Horace Gillum, tight end. Bob Conwin, Era Parsegian, and the backup tight end, John Yonaker. For the men... For the Michigan Panthers, Bobby Bear, the boy from the bayou, under center. John Williams, Ken Lacey are your running backs. Your receivers, Derek Holloway, Anthony Carter, tight end, Mike Cobb. You'll also see Anthony Allen, Walter Brutton at wide out. Backup tight end, Donnie Eccles. The Michigan Panthers defensive line. John Banizak, David Tipton, Ronnie Paget, Paget, Larry Bethea, extra defensive lineman, Alan Hughes. For the Browns of 1948, Chet Adams, Chubby Gregg, Lou Ramkus, John Yonaker, extra defensive lineman, Lou Groza. You'll see on the 48 Browns, players playing both ways. Linebackers and defensive backs for the Browns. Alex Agais, Frank Gasky, Marion Motley, Tony Adamley. Those are the linebackers. Defensive backs, Tommy James, Les the Shondells, Lou Sabin, Tom Coella, Cliff Lewis. Otto Graham is the nickelback, and Era Parsegian is the dimeback. For the Panthers, linebackers and defensive backs. Linebackers, Borland, Pennywell, Bentley, Corker. Defensive backs, Chapman, Arnaud, Greenwood, Davis, Nickelback, McKeever, Dimeback, Moriarty. Kicking for the Panthers, Novo Bojevic. Punter, David Greenwood. For the Cleveland Browns, it's the toe. Lou Groza does the place kicking. And Tom Coella is the punter. To Copa America Bowl 4, we go. And as they say in pro strategy football, let's do this. Here at Copa America Bowl 4, Philip Reynolds, HC0023, Dave Gardner, and Jim L. Hope everyone is doing well. I wish I recorded the other games. I didn't even save the stats. I was like, every time I did a season, I go, oh my God, it's awesome. And again, I just quickly simulated it. I did put some games for Season 1 on the channel. But I think what I'm going to do with this league is I'm going to sim them to the playoffs. We might do a, a, a season recap or not, and then I'll just show you playoff games or maybe just the championship games. It was, they've been a lot of fun. I did this pretty much all day. Alan Griggies joined us, Hope Ball as well. well. Here we go. Copa America Bowl 4. And we will watch it live, PC versus PC. Cleveland won the toss. They elect to receive. Bojevic will kick off for the Panthers. The Browns hoping for a huge return. Browns 16 and 0. Motley upfield, 20, 25, cuts the outside, brought down before the 30. So it's the 16-0 Browns versus the 15-1 Michigan Panthers. 31 wins between these teams and only one defeat. This is the second time the Browns have come to the championship game undefeated. They were in Copa America Bowl 2 and they were defeated by the Florida Blazers. Blazers won the first two Copa Americas. 
over Houston and Cleveland. Then Houston won Copa America Bowl three over the Memphis Southmen. All right, Browns take over. First and 10 at their 29. Graham under center. Jones and Motley are your backs. Speedy, Gillum, and Lavallee are your receivers. Gillum's the tight end. Man coverage, 3-4 for the Panthers. Otto Graham gives it to Jones. Jones bounces to the outside. He's going to pick up four yards, tackled by Pennywell. As Jim Ells says, go Browns. Alan Griggy wants... Then to hand the ball to Marion Motley. I formation for the Browns on second and six. Motley the up back. Jones behind him. 4-3 man coverage for the Panthers. And that's going to be on Cleveland. Movement on the Browns. He'll make it second and 11 from the Cleveland 28. Otto Graham brings them to the line of scrimmage. Now he drops back in shotgun. Jones next to him. Three wide receivers set for the Browns. Gillum and Speedy to the top. Koali and Lavalle to the bottom. Shotgun snap to Otto Graham. Man coverage. It's a run by Jones out of the shotgun. It's a three-yard loss. The Panthers didn't fall for that. Tipton tripped him up in the backfield. So third and 14 for the Browns. Lavelli and Cowan to the top. Gillum and Speedy to the bottom. Jones in shotgun formation with Otto Graham. Two deep zone for the Panthers. Here's the shotgun snap to number 60. Otto Graham. He pumps. He throws. Complete to Lavelli. He breaks a tackle. He's crossed midfield. 45 40 and tripped up. Gain of 37. Graham to Lavelli. Arnard. With the touchdown saving tackle. Here's the replay. It was third and 14. The Browns pick up a huge chunk of change on that reception. Another set of downs for the Cleveland Browns. 37 yards. Motley and Jones are your backs. Man coverage 3-4 for the Panthers. Graham barks out the signals. Graham to throw. He has a lot of time. Sideline pattern. Intercepted by Davis. And that ends a promising drive for the Browns. So after a huge reception, Graham to Lavalley for 37. Davis steps in front of the intended receiver. And the Panthers have a pick. Let's watch that replay. I think it was for Lavalley. He was thrown for Lavalley again. Davis stepped right in front of it. Panthers take over after the interception. First and 10 at their 20. Lacey and Williams are your split backs. Holloway and Carter, your wideouts. A Bears under center. 3 4. Man coverage for the Browns. A Bear gives it to Lacey. Lacey to the right. Picks up two yards, tackled by Adams. Cobb is the tight end. A bear under center, facing zone coverage. Four down linemen for the Browns, tight formation. Second and eight. A bear to throw. It's a screen. Williams has it. Gets to the sidelines. Cuts back in. Picks up five, tackled by Lewis. Big third and three now for the Panthers at their 27. Everyone up in the box for the Cleveland Browns. No safety help. Brutton. Holloway, Allen to the top of the screen, Carter to the bottom, Williams the lone setback, A Bear under center, third and three for the Panthers, A Bear to throw, crossing pattern, complete to Holloway. It was a short pass, picked up seven, Coella on the tackle, the Panthers get a new set of downs. First down for Michigan at their 34, split backfield of Lacey and Williams. Cobb the tight end. Holloway and Carter your wideouts. A bear under center. 3 4 man coverage for the Browns. A bear to throw. Screens it to Williams. Williams will pick up a few. Two yards. Adamley on the tackle for the 48 Cleveland Browns. Second and eight for the Michigan Panthers from their 36. Man coverage for the Browns. A bear hands it to Williams. Williams on the trap play gets nothing. In fact, he will lose a yard. 
Greg on the tackle. Third and nine. Patrick, the lone setback. Holloway to the top. Allen in the slot. Carter to the bottom. Cobbs the tight end. A bear under center. Zone coverage. Four down linemen for the Browns on third and nine. Bobby Abair throws to the sticks, but it's short of the sticks. Carter cut off his route. It's a gain, a six, a gas. A gassy on the tackle. Fourth and three. Greenwood will punt for Michigan. There's a flag on the play. If it's on the Browns, Michigan will have a first down. Here comes Lewis, 25, and brought down around the 27. Let's see what the yellow hanky is all about. Illegal procedure, Michigan. Cleveland declines. They'll take the ball first and 10 at their 28. So both teams have had a possession. Cleveland's possession ended with an Otto Graham interception. Michigan's first possession ended with a punt. Browns first and 10 at their 28. Speedy, Gillum, Lavelli are your receivers. Motley and Jones are your split backfield. Otto Graham under center facing a 3-4, two deep zone coverage. Graham to throw. Extra blockers give him time. He zips it deep to the sideline. Diving attempt by Lavelli. Incomplete, but another yellow hanky litters the field. Defensive holding on Michigan. That's going to give the Browns a first and 10 at their 33. Browns come to the line of scrimmage. The lone back is Jones. Parsegian and Speedy to the top. Cowan and Lavelli to the bottom. Two deep zone, four down linemen for the Panthers. Graham barks out the signals on first down. Otto Graham to throw. Short pass to Jones out of the backfield. Picks up six. Bentley on the tackle for the Panthers. Second and four. Only one loss between these teams in this Copa America Bowl four. Jones and Motley are your split backs now for Cleveland. Man coverage, three, four for the Panthers on second down. Otto Graham, it's a run, blitz, Marion Motley bushed through, and he gets to midfield, an 11-yard gain to the tank known as Marion Motley. First and 10 for the Browns at midfield. Jones and Motley are split backs, man coverage for the Panthers. Graham, Motley to the left, not much at all, he'll lose a yard, Bethea and company bring the rugged Marion Motley down. Second and 11 from the Cleveland 49. Motley goes off the field. So does Gillum. Jones alone setback. Parsegian and Speedy to the top. Cowan and Lavelli to the bottom. Second and long. Two deep zone for the Michigan Panthers. Otto Graham to throw. A quick out to Lavelli. Now pick up six, tackled by Chapman. A lot of flags. Both these teams seem very nervous in this Copa America Bowl 4. It's going to be on the Panthers. Defensive interference, and that will give the Browns another first down via the yellow hanky. First and 10 for Cleveland at the Michigan 47. Browns stick with that four wide out set. Man coverage for the Panthers now on first and 10. It's a handoff to Jones. Up the middle, Jones goes, and he's got a first down. Pickup of 11. Corker finally tripped him up. Michigan was playing pass all the way, three deep zone. That trap play popped. Paul Brown very happy with that call. And John Corker for the Michigan Panthers goes limping off the field. Rose will come in at linebacker for Corker. 6.06 and counting in the first quarter. We're scoreless, but the Browns are driving. Cowan in the slot. Lavelli and Speedy out wide. Gillum's the tight end. Jones, the lone setback. 4-3, two deep zone for the Panthers on first down. Graham to throw a lot of time. Throws deep, incomplete. Deep was looking for Lavelli, well covered by Arnard. Second and ten, six minutes left in the first quarter. Motley's back in with Jones in the backfield. 4-3, two deep zone for the Panthers. 
Motley to the left, and he will get nothing. In fact, he'll lose another yard. Michigan winning the day at the line of scrimmage. Rose will be credited with the tackle on Marion Motley. Third and 11. This is a very long, if it comes to a field goal attempt, I don't know if Lou the Toe Groza has the distance here. Cowan in the slot. Lavelli to the top. Gillum and Speedy to the bottom. Jones alone setback. Otto Graham under center. Assesses the situation. It is a two-deep zone. Four-down lineman for the Panthers. Graham to throw on third and long. Graham takes off running. He's heading to the sidelines. He's close to the sticks. Did he get it? Yes! Otto Graham needed 11. He scrambled for 11. He took a hard hit going out of bounds. No flag. Otto Graham keeps the drive alive. First and 10 for the Browns, under 5 to play in the first quarter. Ball spotted at the Michigan 26. Motley and Jones are the backs. Man coverage 3-4 for the Panthers. Otto Graham, Motley to the left, turns the corner, and he's got a big chunk of change. 14 yards on the sweep left for the tank, Marion Motley. Greenwood makes the stop. Cleveland... Moving the ball quite well. They have a first down at the Panther 12. Lavalli and Speedy out wide. Conwin, Cowan, excuse me, in the slot. Gillum's a tight end. Jones, the lone setback as Motley takes a breather. Man coverage, four down linemen for the ba Panthers on first and 10 from their 12. And the Panthers jumped. That's going to give... Cleveland five yards, first and five at the Michigan seven. With that, Motley comes back on the field. Cowan goes off. So it's Jones and Motley, pro set, split backfield. Everyone up in the box trying to stop the run for the Panthers on first and five. Graham play action, has time, throws, touchdown to Marion Motley. So the play action fake, the Panthers bite. Motley escapes out of the uh, backfield, gets into the end zone, and Otto Graham puts it right into his hand. Seven-yard touchdown and a nesty plunge. Six-nothing. Cleveland here in Copa America Bowl four. Here's the replay in slow motion. Play action fake. Motley right there. There's the Touchdown. Touchdown. 6-0. Groza for the extra point. It is no good. The toe shanks it. It's only 6-0. And you know those extra point misses come back to haunt you. So Groza shanks it. 6-0 Cleveland. Groza to kick off. 4.07 left in the first quarter. Panthers will return from the four. It's Bentley racing down the sidelines. 20, 25, cuts the out, 30. 35 and brought down by Groza. A 30-yard return on the kickoff. So Bobby Bear has the offense first and 10 at the Panther 36. Cobbs the tight end. Holloway and Carter, your wideouts. Lacey and Williams, your backs. Two deep zone, four down linemen for the Browns. A bear to throw. Quick out to Carter. Carter's going to pick up eight. They'll mark it seven. They bring the ball back just a bit. Flag on the field again. And again the Panthers shoot themselves in the foot. Illegal receiver downfield. So instead of second and three, it will be first and 15 for the Panthers at their 31. A bear under center. Man coverage. For the Browns, Lou Saban looks like he's doubling Carter to the bottom of the screen. Bear pitches to Williams. Williams to the left, not much at all. One yard gain. Tackled by Rimkus. Corker will be available at linebacker for the Panthers when they're next on defense. That's the word from the sideline. Second and 14 for the Panthers at their 32. A Bear will face zone coverage too deep from the Browns. On second and long. A handoff to Lacey. Trap play. Only picks up two. Rhyme cuss again on the tackle. 
So it's third and long, third and 12 to be exact. Allen comes in. He's the slot receiver. Williams, the lone setback. This could be a three-deep zone on third and long for the Browns. Bear will take the snap from under center. Bobby Bear rolls, throws middle. Incomplete. Pass intended for Carter. Cleveland was stunting their down four. But Bear rolled away from the pressure through middle. Man-to-man -man coverage. Lewis was all over Carter. Fourth and 12. Greenwood to punt again. Browns looking for a big return. From the 25 comes Lewis and not much farther. Immediately swarmed under after that high, high punt. Only a one-yard return for Lewis. Cleveland, 6 nothing. First and 10 at their 28. Touchdown pass from Otto Graham to Marion Motley. The extra point was missed by Lou the Toe Groza. Speedy and Gollum to the top. Lavelli to the bottom. Motley and Jones are your backs. Man coverage, four down linemen for the Panthers. Graham, under center. Otto Graham hands it to Marion Motley. Motley bounces to the outside. Picks up four yards. It looked like they had... The tank Marion Motley plugged up, but he bounced to the outside for four. Second and six for the Browns at their 32. Split backfield for Cleveland. Man coverage, four down linemen for the Panthers. Graham hands it to Motley. Motley goes to the left again. Picks up two. Paget on the stop. Third and four, just over a minute to play in the first quarter. Six nothing Browns. Motley goes off the field. Cowan comes on. He's the slot receiver. Jones alone setback on third and four. Man coverage for the Panthers. Three down linemen. Graham play action. Throws incomplete. The pass was intended for the slot receiver Cowan Corker, who's just come back on the field with excellent coverage. And the Browns will punt. Coella to do the punting. Panthers on the return, and Broughton gets bamboozled. He gets hit immediately. 43-yard punt by Coella. One-yard return. Panthers, first and 10 at their 24, 52 seconds left in this first quarter of Copa America Bowl 4. Joining us here at Copa America Bowl, Tribes Fan 879. Hope all is well. Zone coverage 3 4 for the Browns. A bear under center, split backfield of Williams and Lacey. Panthers trail 6 0. Bobby A bear to throw. Quick out, incomplete. Low throw to Holloway. Second and 10 for the Panthers. Lacey goes off the field. Allen comes on, number 87. He's the slot receiver. So it's second and 10. Man coverage for the Browns on second and long. Bobby Abear pitches to Williams. He's brought down in the backfield. Swarmed under for a one-yard loss. Rimkus again on the tackle. He's been all over the place like Savoir Fair. So it's third and long. Under 10 seconds. Will they get a playoff here before the first quarter ends? A bear, Patrick, and that is a horrible play call. Pitch right. The Browns were playing pass, but they were in a man to man defense and quickly reacted to the run. Patrick loses three. Green will, will have to punt when the second quarter starts. So after the first 15 minutes of football for Copa America Bowl 4, it's 6-0 Cleveland. If you're just joining us, Otto Graham down near the end zone threw a touchdown pass to Marion Motley. Lou the Toe Groza missed the extra point. Graham has also thrown an interception. Every drive for the Panthers has resulted in a punt. And that's how we'll start the second quarter. Greenwood will punt from his four. He get oh, it's blocked! It's blocked! And the Browns will have it at the Michigan two. 
Unbelievable. The Browns block the punt. Here's the replay in slow motion. Greenwood. And there it is. Greenwood would fall on the ball, and then the Browns would fall upon Greenwood. So it's going to be first and goal one more time in actual speed now. You can see the Browns really laying out to block that punt. Wow. So here's Otto Graham, first and goal from the Michigan 2. Jones and Motley are your backs. Everyone up in the box for the Panthers to try to deny the run. Otto Graham, Marion Motley to the right, brought down at the line. And oh, wow. They're going to say it's a loss of one. Pennywell and company bring down Marion Motley. Second and goal from the three. Graham under center. Gillum the tight end. Speedy and Lavelli the wideouts. Motley and Jones, your split backs. Again, the Panthers, everyone up in the box, playing goal line to deny the run. Otto Graham rolls, throws back. Touchdown to Dante Lavelli. And it is 12-0 Browns. Remember, the Browns came into Copa America Bowl 2 undefeated against the Florida Blazers, and they would go down. They don't want to repeat that again. This is their second trip to the Copa America Bowl in our simulations. Again, if you're just joining us, I simulated three seasons. The Florida Blazers won the first two Copa America Bowls. The Houston Gamblers, the third. Here's the replay in slow motion. Play action fake. Graham rolls right, throws back the other way to Dante Lavelli for the Nest plunge. 12-0 Browns. Lou the toe grows for the extra point. He missed his first. He puts this one up and through. 13-0 Browns. So they immediately take advantage of that black punt. Grows it to kick off. 14-09 to play in the first half. Browns are looking good. From the 10 comes for Trell. For Trell uh, zigzags. He picks up a nice chunk of change, 21 yards on the return. A Bear and the Panther offense starts first and 10 at their 33. So A Bear under center, Allen in the slot, Carter and Holloway out wide, Cobb the tight end, Williams alone setback. Panthers trying to mount some sort of offense here. A Bear to throw on first down, sidelines complete to Carter. First down. Gain of 11. First and 10 for the Panthers. Now it's a split back field of Williams and Lacey. Zone coverage for the Browns on first and 10. A Bear throws middle. Cobb. Gain of six. Adam Lee tripped him up. And Cobb, on that low hit by Adam Lee, goes limping off the field. O'Neill will come in at tight end for the Panthers. Second and four. I formation for the Michigan Panthers. Lacey, the up back, Williams behind him. 3-4 zone coverage for the Browns on second and four. Deli oh, play action! Hits Carter on a quick out for seven yards. That was nifty. Watch this in slow motion. Here's the play action to Lacey. Had me fooled. And he hits Carter on a quick out. Another first down for the Panthers. They trail 13-0, just over 12 minutes of play. In the first half of Copa America Bowl 4, Carter, Eccles, Holloway are your receivers. Eccles being the tight end. Williams and Lacey are split backs. Four down linemen for the Browns. Man coverage for Cleveland. Bear under duress, and he is sacked. Bobby Bear takes a huge hit from Adams. That's a loss of seven. Second and 17 for the Panthers back at midfield. A Bear brings the offense to the line of scrimmage against man coverage, it looks like. Three down linemen for the Browns on second and long. Could be a three deep zone. No, it's man coverage. Hand off to Williams. Williams will only find a little seam. Picks up four. Marion Motley playing both ways makes the tackle for Cleveland. Third and long for the Panthers at the Cleveland 46. That sack has really done damage to this Panther drive. Allen in the slot. 
Carter to the outside. Eccles and Holloway to the bottom. Williams alone set back. Two deep zone for the Browns on third and long. Bobby Hebert rolls, has time, throws, incomplete pass intended for Carter, well covered by Gatsky. The zone did its job choking out the passing lane. And once again, a drive ends with a Greenwood punt. Last punt was blocked. Cleveland comes after it again, but they don't get there. And that's going to bounce into the Panthers' end zone. Uh, I mean, in the Browns' end zone, so it's a touchback. So Cleveland will have it first and 10 at their 20. 10.38 left in the first half, 13 0. 1948 Cleveland Browns out of the All American Football Conference over the 1984 Michigan Panthers out of the United States Football League. Jones alone setback. Cowan in the slot, Speedy and Gillum to the top, Lavelli, who's caught a touchdown pass to the bottom. Otto Graham under center, facing zone coverage. Otto Graham pitches to Jones. Jones with a big run! Second down. Couple of nice moves before he's tripped up by Pennywell. That's a gain of eight, second and two for the Browns under 10 to play. Motley comes back in. Cowan goes off. So it's Motley and Jones, your split backs, on second and two. Man coverage for the Panthers, but that four down lineman split is out wide. And it's Motley to the right. Motley busts through. Another big run for Marion Motley. As he just bludgeons his way through the initial defenders. 13 yards for Marion Motley. Chapman finally dragged him down. First down for Cleveland at their 41. Motley goes off the field to take a breather. Cowan comes back in. He's the slot receiver. 3-4 zone coverage for the Panthers. Graham to throw. Middle, incomplete. Pass intended for Speedy, but there's a flag on the field. And this time it is going to be called intentional grounding on the Browns. So it'll be second and 20 for the Browns. At their 31, Motley comes back on the field. So it's Motley and Jones as Cowan goes off. They're the split backs. Two deep zone coverage for the Panthers. Graham, it's a three deep zone. Graham throws underneath the zone to Gillum. Five yards, Pennywell on the tackle. So third and 15. Motley goes off the field. Cowan comes back on in the slot. It's probably another three deep zone here on third and 15. Graham barks out the signals on third and long. Otto back, throws, incomplete. He was looking for Lavelli. Davis, who's already intercepted Otto Graham once, bats the ball away. Fourth down, Coella to punt from his 20. He gets the punt off. Panthers, Allen gets a minimal return of three yards. Cobb. We'll be back on the field for the Panthers on offense at tight end. 8.29 left in the first half. 13-0 Browns. The Browns 16-0. The Panthers 15-1. Copa America Bowl 4. Lacey, Patrick are your backs. Lacey the up back. Patrick behind him. Carter to the top. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. The Bayou boy. Bobby Ayer. Under center. Two deep zone for the Browns. Bobby Bear to throw. Underneath to Lacey. Lacey picks up seven. So it's going to be second and three now for Michigan. Lacey goes off the field. Number 87, Allen. Slot receiver to the bottom of the screen. Man coverage, three down lineman for the Browns on second and three. A Bear hands it to Williams. Williams with a good tough run up the middle. Picks up six. Greg on the tackle for the Browns. First and 10 for Michigan at their 40. Allen now moves to the top slot. Bear looking to audible here on first and 10. Bear hands it to Williams. Williams, not much at all. 
Counter left, got hung up in the line, tried to bounce it out wide. No gain. Good job by the Browns defense. Beatles eternally has joined us here at Copa America Bowl 4. Hope all is well. As Beatles says, gotta watch out for that penny well. LOL. Check out that wonderful YouTube content creator. If you like baseball and music, subscribe to Beatles Eternally. As I do. Second and ten. Lacey and Williams are your split backs. As Cowan goes off the field. Three, four man coverage for the Browns. A bear. Screen to Lacey. Lacey again. Only will pick up a yard. The Browns quickly swarm to the ball. It's now going to be third and nine. Six minutes and counting in the first half of Copa America Bowl four. Four wide receivers set for the 1984 Michigan Panthers out of the United States Football League, 15-1. and one. Broughton, Holloway to the top, Allen and Carter to the bottom. Williams alone setback. Two deep zone for the Browns on third and long. Bobby Hebert trying to make something happen. He's under duress. He throws. Complete to Allen down the sidelines. It's a gain of 23. Coella comes over and makes the tackle. Let's watch this. In actual speed, Bobby Hebert evades the rush, wings it down the sidelines, and then Allen picks up some yak. Yards after catch. Big, big, big conversion by the Panthers. First and 10 for the Panthers at the Browns' 36. The deep, this is the deepest intrusion that the Panthers have had in Cleveland territory, or incursion. Holloway and Cobb to the top, Carter to the bottom. Lacey and Williams, your split backfield. 4-3 man coverage for the Cleveland Browns of 1948. Bear hands it to Williams. Williams to the right. Only picks up two. Greg on the stop for Cleveland. Second and eight for the Panthers. Now it's Patrick and Lacey, your split backs. Two deep zone, three down linemen for the Browns on second and eight. Bear screens it to Patrick. Patrick's going to pick up four. Third and four now for the Panthers. Just over four to play in this first half. Carter and Allen to the top. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. Williams alone setback. This looks like a three deep zone to me. Could be a mistake here for the Browns. That looks like a three-deep zone they're going to play. And it is. Williams, he's got the first. He went to the left on the pitch. Knew he didn't have too much to the outside. Cut it back in. Put his shoulders down and picked up. Oh, he did not get the first. What a bad spot of the ball. I thought he picked up four. He only got three. Fourth and one. Head coach Jim Stanley of the Michigan Panthers going insane on that Michigan sideline, screaming about the spot of the ball. Fourth and one, the Panthers think about it, but now they send out the field goal team to try to pull to within 10. Bojevic will attempt a 44-yard uh, field goal attempt. Here's the snap. The place... Bojevic puts it up and through. So the Panthers are on the board. And Coach Stanley is still screaming at the officials about the spot of the ball on that third down run by Williams. But the Panthers are on the board. It's now 13-3 with 3.20 to play in this first half of Copa America Bowl 4. Beatles Eternally says, so the Cleveland team is from 1948, the same year the Indians won the World Series. Did the Cleveland, yes, they won the championship in the All-American Football Conference in 1948. In fact, Cleveland, in the brief history of the All-American Football Conference, I believe they won every championship the four years it existed. Then they merged. Cleveland went to the NFL. Baltimore went to the NFL. They merged with the, they were a rival league. Cleveland, Baltimore, San Francisco. I might be missing a team there. I think four of the teams went to the NFL. Trying to think. Cleveland, Baltimore, San Francisco. 
I think maybe those were the only three teams that jumped to the NFL when they merged. Well, that merged basically the the All-American Football Con- Yeah, I guess it's a merger. I mean, they were running out of money anyway. The Browns dominated that league anyway. Yep. 1948 was a hell of a year for the city of Cleveland, as Beatles says. All right. So Bojevic will kick off. Browns now up by 10 as the Panthers finally get on the board. From the end zone comes Lewis. 10, 15, and not much more. Should have took a knee. Paul Brown shaking his head on the Cleveland sidelines. Browns have it first and 10 at their 18. 10 point lead. 3.07 to play in the half. Both teams have all three timeouts. Motley and Jones are your running backs for the 1948 Cleveland Browns. Speedy and Gillum to the top. Dante Lavelli to the bottom. Otto Graham, number 60, under center. Two deep zone, four down linemen for the Panthers. Graham, play action. Graham under duress. Graham scrambles. Graham throws. Picked up by Arnard. Arnard racing for the end zone, and he is tripped up. The second time Otto Graham has been intercepted, the first one by Davis, and now it is the uh, free safety, Arnard, and he returns it to the Cleveland 16. Here's the replay in slow motion. They, the Panthers got good pressure on Otto Graham, forced him out of the pocket. He, was, he threw into coverage. And there's your pick. And now the Panthers are right back in this ball game. And Cleveland's fans have that sinking field again. Remember, they came into Copa America Bowl 2, 16-0, and and would be flabbergasted and bamboozled by the Florida Blazers. Blazers again won the first two Copa Americas. Houston won the third. But could it happen to the Browns again? They get to the Copa America undefeated. Will they lose? They're still up by 10. But with that interception, the Panthers have it first and 10 at the Cleveland 16. 301 left in the half. My, how the worm has turned. Williams and Lacey are your backs for Michigan. Carter, Cobb, Holloway, your receivers. Cobb being the tight end. Two deep zone, three down linemen for the Browns on first down. Bobby A. Bear to throw. Underneath to Carter, that was a short slant for six. Marion Motley playing both ways makes another tackle. Second and four, 225 and counting in the half. Panthers have a big, big opportunity here, and they can't let it go by the wayside. So it's second and four. A bear under center, barks out the signals. Man coverage for the Browns. Bobby A bear. Browns jump, free play. And that's not going to amount to much. No gain, but the flag will be on the Browns. Michigan accepts first and goal for the Panthers at the Cleveland 5. Lacey and Williams are your backs. Everyone up in the box for the Browns defending the run. Williams up the middle. Struggles. No gain. So the Browns hold. Second and goal from the 5. It's a split backfield now of Lacey and Williams. Again, everyone up in the box for the Browns playing the run. Bobby A... Oh, they'll take it to the two-minute warning. Bobby A. Bear tried to get him to jump off sides. So with two minutes to go in the first half, the 1948 Cleveland Browns out of the All-American Football Conference 13, the Michigan Panthers out of the, 19, uh, out of the 1984 United States Football League 3, but Otto Graham has just thrown his second interception. The Panthers are knocking on the door for a nest tee plunge. Second and goal from the five. A Bear brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Can they punch it in? Bobby A Bear hands it to Williams to the right. No gain. The Browns stand him up and send him down. Third and goal. A Bear and the Panthers again come to the line of scrimmage. Third and goal. And now it looks like Cleveland playing a zone. That's dangerous down on your goal line. It's a blitz. Lacey trying to get to the pylon. He's knocked out of bounds. Short. Only a two-yard gain. Fourth and goal. And here is Bajovic to attempt his second field goal. And the Browns have to feel very, very lucky to keep the Panthers out of the end zone. 
If Bojevic makes this, the Panthers are within seven. It's a short one. Bojevic puts it up and through. So it's now 13 to six. It's like 13 to six. Not it's like, it is 13 to six. Speak of the English out. The Panthers are within seven. One thirteen left in this first half. Browns have all three timeouts. Otto Graham has thrown a touchdown and two interceptions. And Michigan jumped it, look, there on the kickoff. From the four comes Lewis, dashing downfield. Cuts middle, cuts back down. Lewis could be going all the way, but he is finally tripped up. 26-yard return to the Cleveland 32. Offsides Michigan. Cleveland declines. They'll take the ball at their 32. 105 left in this first half. Thank you very much, Beatles. That was very kind of you. And I appreciate everyone who hits the like button. That's always nice. So now Graham's in shotgun. He's been a little loosey-goosey with that football, throwing it. Jones next to him. Speedy and Gillum to the top. Cowan and Lavelli to the bottom. Three deep zone for the Panthers. Shotgun snap to Otto Graham. A lot of time. He throws deep middle. Almost picked off again. This time it was Pennywell. Ball bounced out of his hands. So it's second and ten. Graham goes under center. Jones goes behind him. Cowan's in the slot. Two deep zone for the Panthers. Graham to throw. Middle, incomplete, diving attempt by Speedy. Coverage by McKeever for the Panthers. Third and long, Graham in shotgun formation, Jones next to him. Gillum and Speedy to the top, Cowan and Lavelli to the bottom. Two deep zone for the Panthers. Shotgun snap, Otto Graham throws underneath, incomplete. Speedy heard, heard footsteps, got the alligator arms. Fourth down, Coella to punt from his 15. Panthers might have another opportunity here. They have all three timeouts. From the 30 comes Broughton. Picks up three yards on the 36-yard punt. 40 seconds left for the Michigan Panthers and Bobby Hebert in this first half. They trail 13-6. to Panthers again have all three timeouts. A bear in shotgun. Patrick next to him. Carter and Allen to the top. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. This looks like a three deep zone for the Browns. A bear throws to the sidelines. Complete by Carter. He evades the first tackler. Crosses midfield. That's a gain of 17. Michigan uses their first timeout. But Jovic warming his leg on the sideline. He's kicked two field goals. 33 seconds left. Michigan has it first and 10 at the Browns' 48. A Baron shotgun once again. Williams next to him. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. Allen and Carter to the top. Two deep zone for the Browns. Shotgun snap to Bobby A Bear. A Bear throws to Cobb the tight end. That was a short hitch for seven. Gatsky on the tackle. Michigan uses their second timeout. They have one left. Second and three. 29 seconds left before the first half of football ends here in Copa America Bowl 4. Ball spotted at the Cleveland 41. A bear in shotgun. Two deep zone for the Browns. Shotgun snap. Bobby A bear pumps. Has a ton of time. He's throwing deep middle. Incomplete. A leaping attempt by Holloway. And now it is third and 13. Williams and Lacey are your split backs now. Two deep zone for the Browns on third and 13. A bear back to pass. Throws. Looking for Carter. Complete and Carter gets out of bounds. Out of bounds. 22 out of yards. Steps out at the 19, but there is a flag on the field. Is it a late hit? Incidental face mask on the Browns. Tack on a little more. Michigan will have it first and 10. At the Cleveland 14, Clinton Parks has joined us for the football game. Hope all is well. 14 seconds left. A game that the Browns were up 13 to nothing. And now they're struggling to hold the lead with 14 seconds left in this first half. Holloway and Cobb to the top. 
for Michigan. Allen and Carter to the bottom. A Bear in shotgun. Williams next to him. The Panthers do have one timeout. You could run a draw here. Cleveland could be playing man or three deep zone. I don't know yet. We'll find out after this snap. Shotgun snap. A Bear. It's man. He throws. Almost picked off by the Browns. And it was Otto Graham who's playing both ways. He's an extra defensive back. Wouldn't it be ironic? Graham's thrown two picks and a touchdown. He almost had an interception himself. Nine seconds left. They're going to try to throw to the end zone here. Again, they have one timeout. Second and ten. Shotgun snap to Otto Graham. Zone coverage by the Browns. Touchdown to Carter! As Carter goes to the pylon. A bear to Carter. 14 yards and the nesty plunge. And Paul Brown on that Cleveland Browns sideline is just shaking his head. Shaking his head. Hands on his face. He's sensing an undefeated season going down the toilet like in season two when they were defeated by the Florida Blazers. We are an extra point away from a tie game at half. Here's the replay in slow motion. Bobby Abair, outer shotgun. Carter running to the pylon. Abair puts it right on his hands. Again, zone coverage down near the goal line, in my opinion, is extremely dangerous. Here is Bojovic for the extra point that will tie the game. He puts it up and through. It is 13 13. The Panthers tie it. Four seconds left. Here in the first half, if you're wondering why it's a tie game, Lou the Toe Groza missed the extra point on the first Cleveland touchdown. So it's 13-13, another great Copa America going on here. I simmed three seasons offline. Season one, we showed you some games. I had so much fun just simming these seasons, and I didn't save anything. I wish I did. I just would go to the, you know, redo the season, redo the season. And I didn't, I didn't make new seasons. I just kept playing. So three seasons have been simmed. It was so much fun. I said, I have to... And every championship game was down the stretch within seven points. All right, here's the kickoff by Bojevic. Browns in shock. From the end zone comes Lewis. This will end the half. Lewis racing down the sidelines, finally tripped up. And that's your first half of football for the Copa America, and we're knotted at 13. It has been a wild and crazy game. Let's look at some stats quite quickly. Bobby Abair, 16 of 21, completing 76% of his passes, 145 yards, a touchdown, no picks. Sacked once for seven yards a loss. Quarterback rating 110.22. It won't be anything like that for Otto Graham. 5 of 13, under 40% completion. 58 yards, two touchdown passes. One to Motley, one to Lavelli, but also two interceptions. His quarterback rating is 52.72. Leading rusher. For the Browns in the first half, Marion Motley, 8 for 41. I think you got to try to ground and pound more with Motley. For the Michigan Panthers, they struggled on the ground. Williams, 10 for 14. Leading receiver for the Panthers with seven receptions, Anthony Carter, 83 yards and a touchdown. For the Cleveland Browns, Dante Lavelli, 2 for 40. He has a touchdown reception along with Marion Motley. Leading tackler for the Cleveland Browns, defensive lineman, Reinkus with six. Adams has a sack of Bear. Michigan's leading tackler, the linebacker Pennywell, he has six tackles. The interceptions, Arnard, the free safety, and Davis, the extra defensive back. No sacks on Otto Graham. Kicking. Bojovic, Bojovic, excuse me, two for two for field goals, one for one for extra points. And here's the difference in the ballgame. 
Lou the Toe Groza, one for two for extra points, and that's why we're 13 to 13. We start the second half of football. Groza to kick off to the Michigan Panthers. Can the Panthers win this and deny the Browns another undefeated season? And for Trell with a good return! Tripped up at the end by Groza, who makes the lunging tackle. 23-yard return on that kickoff. Michigan starts first and 10 at their 36. Panthers definitely with the mojo. A bear under center. Lacey the up back. Patrick behind him. Cobb the tight end. Holloway and Carter your wideouts. Man coverage for the Browns on first and 10. Bobby A bear feeling his oats. He pumps. He wants to throw. He's under duress. He throws deep middle. Complete to Lacey on the backfield. First down. A bear with time. Lacey. Running originally probably a short to medium route. And then when A Bear was under pressure, Lacey took off long. The other receivers come back. And that is a 32 yard pass reception for Lacey. Here come the Panthers once again. First and 10 at the Cleveland 32. What has happened to these Browns who are in total control midway through? The second quarter, and now it's 13-13. Lacey and Williams are your split back. Zone coverage for the Browns on first and 10. Bear screens it to Williams. Williams gets to the sidelines. He fumbles, but the ball bounces out of bounds. It's a gain of four. Second and six for the Panthers. Lacey goes off the field. Number 87, Allen comes on. Slot receiver to the top of the screen. Williams alone setback. Man coverage, three down linemen for the Browns on second and six. Bobby Bear hands it to Williams. Williams up the middle, picks up four tough yards. Gatsky on the hard hit, trying to dislodge the football and the senses of Williams. Flag on the play. Defensive holding on Cleveland. That's going to give the Panthers a first down and 10 at the Browns 23. So everything going wrong for Paul Brown's Cleveland Browns. A Bear brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Man coverage, three down linemen for the Browns. Bobby A Bear to throw. Pumps has time underneath to Lacey, the safety valve. No gain. A gas on the tackle. So it's going to be second and 10. A Bear in shotgun. Williams next to him. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. Allen and Carter to the top. Anthony Carter's caught a touchdown pass already. Zone coverage too deep for the Browns. Shotgun snap to Bobby Hebert. Hebert, it's a sweep to Williams out of shotgun. He goes to the right, picks up three yards. Gatsky on the tackle for Cleveland. Third and seven. Bojevic warms his leg on the Panthers' sidelines. If this drive stalls, Bojevic will have an opportunity to put the Panthers in the lead. Carter and Allen to the top. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. Shotgun snap to Bobby Bear. They're doubling Anthony Carter. Complete to Williams. Out of the backfield for two yards, but it's fourth and five, and here comes the field goal unit. Bajovic lines himself up. This will be a 35-yard field goal attempt. The Panthers for the lead. The snap. It's set. The kick, flag on the play, it is good. 16-13, but there is a flag on the play. Illegal procedure, Panthers back up the bus to the Cleveland 23. But Jovic will have to do it again, and now it is a 40-yard field goal. But Jovic lines himself up for the lead again for the Panthers. The ball's put down. The kick is up. It is true. And it is through. Bajovic does it again. 16-13 Panthers. So after Cleveland scored the first 13 points, the Michigan Panthers have scored 16 unanswered and have taken the lead by three. That is the third field goal for Bajovic. And that was a 40-yard variety. 11-12 to play in the third quarter. Panthers now have the lead in Copa America Bowl 4. As Beatles attorney says, The Great Gaspy! Yes, it could be. Could be his cousin. 
Pajovic will kick off. Brown's trying to change the tide of battle here from the goal line comes Lewis. Lewis racing down, cuts to the sidelines, and is brought down before the 25. They'll spot it at the 23, 20-yard 20 return for Lewis. 11.08 left in the third quarter. Graham under center. Gillum's a tight end. Speedy and Lavelli out wide. Motley and Jones are your running backs. Three down linemen, two deep zone for the Panthers. Graham to throw. He's thrown two picks. He throws it deep down the sidelines. Diving attempt by Dante Lavelli. Incomplete. Second and ten. Cleveland to the line of scrimmage. Man coverage for the Panthers on second and ten. Otto Graham rolls a bit. Looking, looking, looking. Throws. Complete to Marion Motley out of the backfield. Motley breaks two tackles. It's a 17-yard gain. Borland finally brought Marion Motley down. A thunderous back. First and ten for the Browns. They trail by three. Ball spotted at their 40. Motley and Jones are your setbacks. Man coverage, three down linemen for the Panthers on first down. Otto Graham hands it to Marion Motley. Motley plunges the middle for two. Bentley went low and tripped him up. So on second and eight, Paul Brown goes to the four wide out set. Parsegian, Speedy, and Cowan to the top. Lavelli to the bottom. Jones alone setback. Number 60, Otto Graham under center. Two deep zone for the Panthers. Second and eight. Otto Graham. Pitch right to Jones. And he's knocked out of bounds. Four yard gain. So it's going to be third and four for Cleveland at their 46. Cowan and Lavelli to the bottom. Parsegian and Speedy to the top. Jones alone setback. Two deep zone for the Panthers on third and four. Graham. Has time. He throws sidelines. Complete to Aaron Parsegian for 17 yards. And the Browns move the chains. Another set of downs for the Cleveland Browns. First and 10 at the Michigan 37. Parsegian goes off the field. Gillum, the tight end, comes back on. Cowan moves into the slot. Jones alone set back behind Otto Graham. Man coverage. For the Panthers, four down linemen for Michigan. Otto Graham, play action, throws underneath to a slanting speedy. Was hoping to catch him in stride. Instead, it will be second and ten. Motley's back in the game as Cowan goes out. So it's Motley and Jones in that backfield. Graham assesses the situation under center. Man coverage for the Panthers on second. Oh, the Panthers jump! Motley takes the handoff, picks up three, but the penalty will be on the Panthers, and Cleveland accepts. It'll be second and five from the Michigan 32. The 15-1 and one Panthers, 16. The 16-0 and oh Browns, 13. The Browns have come to Copa America Bowl before undefeated. And left with one loss. The Blazers beat them. The Florida Blazers, who won the first two Copa Americas, beat them in the second Copa America Bowl. All right, second and five. Graham brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Man coverage, three down linemen for the Panthers. Hand off to Motley. Motley's got the first down. He's heading for the end zone and finally tripped up by the free safety Arnard. Marion Motley bludgeoned his way through the Michigan defenders, and Arnard threw his whole body at the legs of Marion Motley and tripped him up. But another first down for the Browns as they drive for the go-ahead score. First and 10 for the Browns at the Panthers' 16. Motley goes off the field. Jones, the lone setback. Cowan comes on. He's the slot receiver, number 80. Two deep zone for the Panthers on first and 10. Graham to throw, incomplete. middle, incomplete. Pass intended for Gillum, well defended by Pennywell. Lou the toe, Groza, kicks the ball into the net. Straight ahead kicker, lineman. Otto Graham audibles. Man coverage for the Panthers on second and 10. Graham to throw, he has a ton of time. Sidelines, 
and he actually hits Jones. He looks sidelines and hit Jones on the comeback route. The running back for six yards, Corker on the tackle for the Panthers. Third and four for the Browns at the Michigan 10. Marion Motley still on the sidelines. Brown, Paul Brown, the coach, four wide receivers set. Parsegian, Speedy, and Cowan to the top. Lavelli to the bottom. Jones alone setback. Everyone up in the box. The Panthers defending the run, it looks like. Graham Jones up the middle. He's close. Did he get it? No, he needed four. He got three. Banizak stops him. Fourth and one. It is Lou Lato Groza to attempt a game tying field goal. The ball is at the. So this is a 24 yard field goal. Again, he is a straight ahead kicker. He missed his first extra point attempt. This is for the tie. The snap, the place, the straight ahead kick. It is good. We're not at 16 in Copa America Bowl 4. Unbelievable. 627 to play. It is 16 to 16. And again, this is the third quarter of Copa America Bowl 4. Nothing has been decided yet. Grows it a kick off. It's another epic From the three comes Bentley, racing down the middle. Cuts to the left. Picks up 22 yards. They'll spot it at the Michigan 27. 6-14 left in the third quarter. We're knotted at 16. 15-1 Michigan Panthers out of the 1984 USFL. 16-0 Cleveland Browns, 1948, out of the All-American Football Conference. 31 wins and only one loss between these teams. Someone has to win today. Someone has to lose. Will it be the Browns? Will it be the Panthers? We shall find out. Williams alone setback. Allen in the slot. Carter and Holloway out wide. Cobbs a tight end for Michigan. Man coverage for the Browns. Three down linemen. Bear pitches to Williams. Williams to the right. He fumbled! And the Panthers come away from the scrum with the pigskin. So they dodge a bullet there. Second and seven, three yards for Williams. Lacey and Patrick as Williams goes off the field. And Coach Jim Stanley is stressing ball security to him. Two deep zone for the Browns on second and seven. A bear to throw. Sideline incomplete. He threw behind Anthony Carter. A little miscommunication there. Third and seven. Williams back on the field. Allen in the slot for the Panthers. Two deep zone. Four down lineman for Cleveland on third and long. Bobby Bear has time. Extra blockers. Incomplete. Was looking for Anthony Carter. On the medium slant. Marion Motley on the coverage. Again, these 48 Browns have players playing both ways. Greenwood to punt. Browns have blocked the punt. They blocked! Gatsky heading for the end zone, and he's tripped up inside the 10. The second block punt by the Cleveland Browns. And Paul Brown, who doesn't show much, much emotion, is jumping for joy on that Cleveland sidelines. A second time, a Greenwood punt has been blocked. So the special teams, is, and especially the punt team, the punt coverage team, or the punt return team, excuse me, has saved the day for Cleveland and kept them in this game. Here's the replay in slow motion. The second time Greenwood has had a punt blocked. And you can see Gatsky coming away from the pile trying to race to the end zone and finally brought down at the Panther 10. So here's Otto Graham. Unbelievable. Otto Graham now. First and 10 at the Michigan 10. So it's first and goal. Speedy and Lavelli out wide. Gillum's a tight end. Motley and Jones are split backs. Graham has thrown two touchdowns, two picks. Man coverage for the Panthers. Graham, play action. Rolls. Throws back the other way. Incomplete. That was dangerously close. Dangerously close. 
to a third in interception as Corker claps his hands for the Panthers. And the Browns and Otto Graham dodge a bullet there. So it's second and goal from the 10. Motley goes off the field. Lavelli and Cowan to the top. Speedy and Era Parsegian to the bottom. Jones alone setback. Everyone up in the box for the Panthers. Mono e mano. Man on man. Otto Graham hands it to Jones. Jones to the right. Picks up a few. Struggles for an extra yard. Three yards. Borland on the stop. Third and goal. Groza could be called upon once again. But this time to put the Browns ahead. Dante Lavelli to the bottom of the screen. Cowan, Speedy, and Eric Parsegi into the top. Jones alone setback. The Browns have stretched out this Panther defense. Third and goal from the Michigan 7. Otto Graham yeah. under duress throws. Incomplete. Graham throwing off his back foot. It was a short slant intended for Eric Parsegian, but Graham threw behind him. He could not set his feet. Good pressure by the Panthers. Here comes the toe. Lou Groza. This is for the lead. It is a 24-yard field goal attempt once again for Groza. Panthers coming for the block. The ball's put down. Groza puts it up and through. It's good. And just like that, the Browns take a three-point lead, 19 to 16, with 4:26 to play in the third quarter. Back and forth we go in another epic Copa America Bowl. Grows it a kick off. Panthers still in shock. From the 15 comes Frutrell. Frutrell cuts the outside. He's near the 40, and that's where they'll bring him down. So the Panthers, down by three, will start first and 10 at their 40. That's good field position to launch their counteroffensive. A Bear under center. Cobbs the tight end. Williams and Lacey are split backs. Holloway and Carter, your receivers. 3 4 2 deep zone for the Browns. Bobby A Bear hands it to Williams. Williams. Second down. Picks up two yards on the dive play. Gatsky, not the great Gapsby. Gapsby, whatever. Gap, whatever the hell that name is. Makes the tackle. Second and eight. I didn't like that book, by the way. I'm with Clinton Parks. I like Tolkien much better. Williams and Lacey are split back. Zone coverage for the Browns on second and long. A Bear pumps, throws Incomplete. underneath. Third no down. good pass intended for Lacey. Coverage by Gatsky. So third and eight. As the Panthers come to the line of scrimmage, they'll face a two-deep zone coverage. Third and eight. Can Bear convert? Panthers down by three. Put, put, put. Bobby Bear rolls a bit. Throws middle. Incomplete. Fourth down. Knocking the ball down was a gas. Pass intended for the tight end, Cobb. As Alan Griggy wants the Panthers to go to Anthony Carter. The Great Gatsby. Yeah, I definitely didn't like that book. We had to read that in high school. That's like Catcher in the Rye. I hated that book too. I liked Fahrenheit 455, George Orwell's 1984, Of Mice and Men. What's that, Steinbeck? Steinbeck, I think. I liked that book too. I like Julius Caesar, once I got used to the wording. And I definitely like the Tolkien stuff. Greenwood, he's he's going to punt. He's had two punts blocked. Will the Browns get a third? Greenwood gets the punt off as he rushed it. Browns on the return. It's James. James is going to pick up seven yards on the 39-yard punt. Browns up 19 to 16, trying to complete an undefeated season. They had an undefeated season in season two, except they lost to the Florida Blazers in Copa America Bowl two. So it was not undefeated. They pulled the New England Patriots. Motley and Jones are your split backs. Speedy Gillum to the top, Dante Lavelli to the bottom. Man coverage four down linemen for the Panthers. Cleveland trying to build on that three point lead. 
It's a blitz. Otto Graham throws. Hits Lavelli on the slant. Lavelli rushing. And he gets out of bounds. So Lavelli just keeps going across the field for 22 yards. Knocked out of bounds. I thought he was going to cut it back to the middle. But he did not. That's how they beat the blitz. With a slant to the speedy Dante Lavelli. First and 10 for the Browns. Browns got their mojo back now. At their 48, Motley and Jones, your split backs. Three down linemen, man coverage for the Panthers. It's a blitz. Otto Graham, they pick it up. Incomplete. Second down. Graham tried to hit Motley out of the backfield. Bentley for the Panthers tried to jump the route. So second and 10. Panthers have to hold here. They trail by three. Motley and Jones, again, your split backs. Man coverage for the Panthers on second and long. It's a blitz. Otto Graham. And... This is going to be one of these weird animation plays. So Graham dumps it just over the blitzers to Jones, who picks up 13 yards. Chapman tripped him up, or he might have went for a nasty plunge. Every once in a while, the animation foobars. So the Browns move the chains, first and 10 at the Michigan Panther 39. Just over two minutes of play in the third quarter. Cleveland 19, Michigan 16. It's a sweep to Motley to the left. And he is gang tackled. Only picks up three. Corker will be credited with the tackle, but he had a lot of help. Browns to the line of scrimmage. Second and seven. Man coverage for the Panthers. Otto Graham. He's going to throw. Lots of time. Complete to Speedy near the sidelines. That's going to be a first. That's an 11 yard gain. Graham had excellent protection there. So another first down for the Browns. First and 10 at the 25 of the Michigan Panthers. Motley and Jones, your split backs. Two deep zone for the Panthers on first down. Speedy Jones, halfback option pass. Incomplete. Oh, my Lord. Paul Brown pulling a rabbit out of his hat there and almost got picked by Bentley. As Jones was trying, he Jones, they faked the sweep one way, and they try to go back to Dante Lavelli the other way. Here's the replay in actual speed. And it, this is almost picked off. Incomplete. Second down. Second and 10 for the Browns at the Michigan 25. Man coverage for the Panthers. Otto Graham hands it to Motley. Motley bludgeons the middle, but only for two. Quickly conversion, co converging were the Panthers. Third and eight. Will they get one more playoff before the end of the third quarter? Cowens in the slot. Jones alone set back for Cleveland. Two deep zone for the Panthers. Graham to throw. And... Oh, it's intercepted! It's intercepted! Otto Graham throws his third pick, but I don't think it's his fault. Let's watch the replay. He was in pass was intended for Speedy. Speedy falls down. And there is the pick by Chapman. Unbelievable. One more time in actual speed. Speedy fell down. And Otto Graham throws his third interception. And the Michigan Panthers dodge a bullet for sure as we come to the end of the third quarter of Copa America Bowl 4. The Cleveland Browns holding on to a slim three-point lead, 19-16. The Cleveland Browns trying to go undefeated. They went 16-0 in the regular season in our fourth season of the WFL, USFL, AAFC League. But they've been here before and they have failed. They have lost in the Copa America Bowl with an undefeated season on the line to the Florida Blazers. That was in Copa America Bowl 2. So now the Panthers trailing by three. The Panthers have only lost one game. As HC0023 says, Wow, three picks. Otto Graham not having a good game. Lacey and Williams are your backs. Holloway, Cobb to the top, Carter to the bottom. Man coverage for the Browns. First and 10 for Michigan at their 10 after the interception. Lacey to the right, knocked out of bounds. That's going to be a loss of one. Lacey should have just stayed right behind his blockers and picked up what he could. He tried to bounce it to the outside and loses a yard. 
second and 11. Four wide receivers set for Jim Stanley's Michigan Panthers. A Bears under center. Patrick the lone setback. Carter, the dangerous Carter. To the bottom of the screen. Broughton, Holloway, Allen to the top. Second and long. Zone coverage for the Browns. Handoff, Patrick. That fools no one. The defensive line limits that to a two-yard gain. So it's now third and nine. They reverse the formation. Carter to the top. Brunton, Holloway, and Cowan to the bottom. Williams alone set back on third and long. Man coverage for the Browns. Bear hands it to Williams. Wow, did they play that conservatively. Only three yards, and now Greenwood will punt from his end zone. Cleveland blocked two. Cleveland coming after it, and again, Greenwood rushes the punt. From the 40 comes James. He dodges one tackle, crosses midfield, and is brought down. An 11-yard return on the 45-yard punt. Uh, Coach Stanley really played that very conservatively deep in his own end, putting a lot of pressure on this Panther defense. 13.09 left in the game. Cleveland holds on to a three-point lead. The Browns 19, the Panthers 16. Cleveland with the ball at the Panther 48. Jones and Motley, your split backs. Lavelli, Gillum, Speedy, your receivers. Gillum, the tight end. Will we see a steady dose of Marion Motley? Pitch to Motley. And Motley brought down one yard loss by Banizak. As the Panthers fight through the Browns blocking. So it's going to be second and 11 now for Otto Graham. And the Cleveland Browns. Man coverage for the Panthers. Three down linemen. Second and 11. Otto Graham. Motley to the right. Motley is going to pick up a few. Three yards. Borland. They're staying low on their tackles. Not trying to get the ball out of Motley's hands. Just try to make the tackle. Third and eight. I formation for the Browns. Motley, the bludgeoning back up front. Jones behind him. Three, four. For the Panthers, man coverage. Big third and eight. Panthers have to hold here. Graham under center. Otto Graham to throw. Lots of time. He pumps. Throws middle. Intercepted by Greenwood. That is the fourth pick of Otto Graham. Unbelievable. Greenwood, who's also the punter, gets a little bit of revenge on the Browns. He makes the pick. Here's the replay in slow motion. Graham pumped, then threw into coverage, and Greenwood makes the interception. Panthers take over first and ten. At their 34, they trail by three. Lacey and Williams are your backs. Holloway and Cobb to the top, Carter to the bottom. The Bayou boy, Bobby Bear under center. Two deep zone for the Browns. Panthers, quick out to Cobb. The tight end has some running room. He crosses midfield near the sidelines. Finally tripped up. Gain of 18. Coella on the trip up tackle. Panthers, first and 10 at the Cleveland 48. Just over 11 to play in Copa America Bowl 4. Michigan down by 3. Cleveland desperately trying to hang on to this lead. They desperately want to go undefeated. They failed in Season 2 when they fell to the Florida Blazers in the Copa America Bowl. I formation for the Panthers. Lacey the up back. Williams behind a man coverage. For the Browns, A Bear under duress, throws under pressure, and Coella with the interception. So Bobby A Bear with an ill advised pass under duress, try to throw it deep, didn't get it up on the ball, and Coella with the pick might have saved the day. Here's the replay. You can see A Bear throwing as he is being hit. A very ill-advised pass by the Bayou boy, Bobby Bear. A huge pick by Coella. Browns take over first and 10 at their 35. They dodge a bullet, so back-to-back -back picks by both teams. Motley, the up-back Jones behind him. The Browns should just run this ball, in my opinion. Graham's going to throw again underneath the Jones. 
Only a one-yard gain. Graham wanted to go downfield. Receivers well covered by the Panthers. So second and nine. Once again, Motley and Jones staggered backfield. Man coverage for the Panthers. Otto Graham under center. It's a pitch to Jones to the left. Not much at all. No gain, in fact. Panthers string it out, and Bethea brings him down. Third and long, nine yards. They need nine yards to move the chains. Under 10 to play in this game. Cowan in the slot. Jones alone setback. This looks like a three-deep zone for the Panthers. Otto Graham has thrown two touchdowns, four picks. Third and nine. Otto Graham to throw. Lots of time. He's throwing middle. Almost picked off again. He threw into coverage. Looking for Cowan. Pennywell nearly picked it. Coella will punt from his 20. 9.37 left in Copa America Bowl 4. Browns 16 and 0, Michigan 15 and 1. Browns lead 19 to 16, trying to complete that magical undefeated season. Here's the punt by Coella. Panthers coming after it. Coella gets the punt off. Panthers hoping for a big return. Here's Brutton. Not much at all. Two yards. 9:31 left in this game. Panthers trail by three. I formation for Michigan. First and 10 at their 30. Lacey the up back. Williams behind him. Holloway and Cobb to the top. Anthony Carter to the bottom. Bear under center. Two deep zone. Four down lineman for Cleveland. Bobby Bear to throw. Has time. Deep middle. Incomplete. Second down. Penalty. Oh, is there pass interference here? Pass was intended for Carter. Nope. Offensive holding on Michigan. Back up the bus. First and 20 for the Panthers at their 20. Christopher Slovic has joined us. Check out that wonderful YouTube content creator. He says, how did Florida Blazers, two-time champs, do this year? I'd have to look. Again, and I can look because I still have those stats, so I can check that later. Um I think they made the playoffs. Again, I simmed everything to the championship. I didn't save any other... Uh, any. I didn't change the season. So when I said, yeah, let's replay it, I didn't do it. I did it right in that same season. So I didn't save anything. I should have... In hindsight, I should have went in the other screen. But the reason why I didn't want to do that was I'd have to edit everything again for the six teams that came over wrong originally. So I didn't want to do that. But yeah, it's been fun. I simmed three seasons today i i didn't even i watched some highlights i watched a little bit against i just the scores were crazy cleveland's been the dominant team but they have not won a championship in these uh, now they're in it for a second time blazers were surprise winners they had good teams well the first season they were really good first two seasons so yeah blazers won the first two gamblers the other blazers won the inaugural Copa America with a field goal in overtime over the Gamblers. Shotgun snap to Bobby Bear on first and 20. Zone coverage. Bear hits Allen to the sidelines. He's tackled. 11-yard gain. Adamly on the stop for the Browns. Under nine to play now in this game. Second and nine after that 11-yard reception. Bear again comes out in shotgun. Two deep zone for the Browns. Bobby Bear screen to Williams. Williams to the sidelines. Williams got the first down. He's heading for midfield and tripped up. First down. So Bobby Bear says first and 20, no problem. 11, then 19, and move the chains. Just over eight to play in this game. Bobby Bear now under center. Broughton, Holloway, Allen to the top. Patrick DeLone setback. Anthony Carter to the bottom of the screen. Two deep zone. For the Browns, Paul Brown panicking on the Cleveland sideline. He senses another undefeated season slipping away. A Bear barks out the signals. Bobby A Bear hands it to Patrick. Patrick to the left picks up four. A gas on the tackle. Second and six. Seven twenty nine and counting in this game. Panthers taking their time. Lacey and Williams are your backs. Carter and Holloway out wide. Cobbs the tight end. Two deep zone for the Browns. Four down lineman on second and six. Bear. Williams up the middle, and he is quickly met 
by Gatsky. Only two yards for Williams. Third and four. Under seven to play. Lacey goes off to field. Number 87, Allen, becomes a slot receiver to the top of the screen. Williams alone setback. This is huge. This is huge. Man coverage for the Browns on third and four. Can the Panthers convert? Bobby Abair hits Holloway, and he is wrapped up after only two yards. Bobby Abair tried to hit Holloway right off the line of scrimmage, basically a running pass. But quickly, Lewis converged and brought him down fourth and two. Oh, my Lord. Bojovic will attempt a 49-yard field goal. He has made four. If he makes his fifth, we will be tied at 19. 49 yards, fourth and two. Will the Panthers fake? Will the Panthers fake? Bajovic lines it up. The snap, the place. Bajovic strikes it low. Does it have the distance? No, it was on target, but not a numb leg by Bajovic. Fourth and two, they went for a 49-yard field goal. You might as well try to punt and pin him back. I might have went for it there, though. So the Browns cling to a three-point lead. They'll take over first and ten at their 49. Wow. You might as well have went for it on fourth and two. I would have went for it. And, or punt it deep. Probably, I probably would have went for it. Browns need to run 6.07 o'clock to have an undefeated season. Jones and Motley are your backs. You're probably going to get a steady diet of runs by Cleveland. Zone <laughs> coverage. No! Graham throws to Gillum. He fumbles. Who has the ball? And Gillum... Comes away from the pig pile with the football. Holy cow, it was almost another turnover by the Cleveland Browns. But they'll pick up five. Wow, did they dodge a bullet. Under six to play now. Browns taking their time. Second and five from their 46. I think you should have a steady diet of runs. Man coverage for the Panthers. It's a run blitz. Motley bludgeons the middle, and he's got the yards necessary to move the chains. Greenwood torpedoed the bludgeoning back, Marion Motley, but five yards, another set of downs for Cleveland. The clock going tick, tick, tick on the Michigan Panthers championship dreams. And the clock is going tick, tick, tick on the Cleveland Browns championship dreams of an undefeated season. I formation, Motley, the up back, Jones behind him, first and ten. Graham, pit flea flicker! Graham going for the kill! Hits Speedy! Speedy heading for the end zone! And he's knocked out! First down. Oh, they're not going to give him a touchdown! Unbelievable! Otto Graham audibles into a flea flicker. Graham goes for the kill shot. It is first and goal inches away from an ST plunge. That is worth two replays, one in slow motion. Jones pitches back to Otto Graham. He heaves it to Speedy. Speedy running a deep slant rod across the middle. Speedy heading towards the pylon. He makes a lunging dive. But, there's, but they said he did not cross the goal line. Now, actual speed. That could spell the end of this game. Otto Graham, a gunslinger's mentality. Wow! First down, out of bounds. As HC0023 says, wow, big play. That was freaking awesome. Alan Griggy, Paul Brown went for the kill. HC0023 championship play there. First and goal from the six-inch line. Double tight end set. Motley the up back. Jones behind him. They just need to bludgeon this in with Marion Motley. Graham throws. What is he? What is he? Did he channel his inner Seattle Seahawks? Oh, my Lord. Imagine if he throws a fifth pick. Incomplete. He was trying to get the ball to Speedy. 
Second and goal. I formation. Two tight end set. Everyone up for the Panthers. This is mano e mano. Can the Browns bludgeon it in? Motley touchdown! Touchdown, Marion Motley! And the Browns go up 25 to 16. This could be the undefeated season that Paul Brown wanted. They have been heavy, heavy, heavy favorites in the first three season, but seasons, but have not come away with a championship. And now Motley bludgeons it in from six inches out. Here's the replay in slow motion. Marion Motley's second touchdown. His first one was a reception. This is a run. The toe for the extra point. Groza puts it up. He's missed one, but he makes this. 26-16. You got to go back to that fourth and two, folks. I would have went for it. Because if you miss the field goal, they're getting it there anyway. At 49 yards, they're not making it. Odds are. With these teams. Wow. So the Browns are 4 minutes and 34 seconds away from an undefeated season and a championship. Remember, in season 2, they had an undefeated season but were defeated in the Copa America Bowl by the Florida Blazers who won the first two Copa Americas. Houston Gamblers won the third. All the games have been classics. Groza to kick off. And Coach Mike Stanley will be thinking about that fourth and two in the offseason. From the goal line comes Bentley. Bentley cuts the sideline, racing down the sidelines, and he stopped near the 25. They'll spot it at the Panther 26, 421 left. The 15-1 Panthers having a fantastic year, but they run into the 16-0 Cleveland Browns. A bear under center. They've got a throw, throw, throw. Of course, they're going to run. And Williams knocked out of bounds. Two-yard gain. Only good news, the clock stops. Shotgun, Bobby Hebert. Hebert throws to Carter. Carter tackled after a five-yard gain. Third and three. Michigan in a hurry up. Hebert under center. Bobby Hebert pitches to Williams. Williams has a first down heading out of bounds, and he does. That could have been a late hit, but no flag. 12 yards. Michigan converts. 350 left in the game. Hebert. Brings the team to the line of scrimmage. Cleveland, two deep zone. Bobby Hebert under duress, and he is nailed. He is sacked by Adams, eight-yard loss. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Bobby Hebert in shotgun. Bobby looking, looking, looking. Throws middle. Incomplete. That will bring up. Oh, there's an injury. Let's see. That pass was intended for Patrick out of the backfield. And Patrick is hurt. He goes limping off the field. Williams comes back in the game. Third and long. Definitely two down territory here. Broughton, Holloway, Allen to the top, Carter to the bottom. Williams alone setback. A bear under center. Two deep zone for the Browns. They are up 10 with 3.23 to play in this Copa America Bowl 4. A bear's going to get sacked again as the Browns come after him and bring him down. Rimkus with the sack. Fourth down. And they're going to punt. Unbelievable. Coach Mike Stanley will be fired after this game. Wow. Well, I mean, it was fourth in a mile, but I, I mean, what the hell? You might get a pass interference. Browns need to keep it on the ground. It's Motley. Motley bludgeons forward. Picks up four. Michigan uses a timeout. Graham pitches to Motley. Motley stays in bounds. No gain. Third and six. Michigan uses a second timeout. Third and six. Pitch to Jones. Jones brought down. As the Panthers playing all out to stop the run, they'll use their... No, they're not going to use a timeout. Coella to punt. Should have used the timeout. They take it to the two-minute warning. Coella to punt. Two minutes left in the game. Michigan comes after it. They don't get the punt. They need a return, a huge return. Down by ten. Here comes Broughton. And he is brought down after two yards. Down 10, 154 left. They have to score and score quick. Four wide receivers set. They have one timeout. The Panthers do. Two deep zone for the Browns. 
A bear under duress. He scrambles, and he just gets back to the line of scrimmage. They'll give him a one yard gain. They rush to the line of scrimmage. Bobby A bear and shotgun. Second and nine. A bear looking, throw sidelines, complete to Carter. First down. And he gets out of bounds. A bear and shotgun. Williams next to him. 125 left. Bobby looking, looking. Deep. Oh, just out of the reach of Holloway. Second and 10. A bear under center. Four wide receivers for the Panthers. Three deep zone for Cleveland. A bear trying to find the seam. Hits Holloway and he gets out of bounds just past midfield. 16 yards. Ball at the Cleveland 48. 111 to play. There's not enough time. There's not enough time. Bobby A bear. He's under duress. He's on. Oh, he's brought down again. Gatsky, eight yard loss. A bear rushes to the line of scrimmage. Shotgun formation. A bear under duress. Throws. Almost intercepted. A bear tries to catch his breath now. After that incomplete, 44 seconds left. What you could do here, if you get a chunk of yards, kick a field goal, then go for the onside. Shotgun snap to Bobby A bear. Prevent. Complete to Carter, and Carter gets out of bounds. Out of bound. Now this may... Okay, so... Yeah, it's too long of a field goal. So, fourth and eight, 39 seconds. Prevent defense by the Browns. A bear throws. Incomplete! That's your ball game, folks. Holding on Cleveland! Oh, my God! The game is not over. Holding on Cleveland gives Michigan a first down. Now, if I was Michigan, ah, it's still a 48-yard field goal. So 31 seconds left, one timeout. I would throw a medium out route, try to get some yards, and then kick a field goal. A bear to throw. Deep! Complete to Allen! He's racing for the end zone! Touchdown! Holy cow! The Panthers are not dead yet. They're on life support, but they're not dead yet. The flag, we thought the game was over. Cleveland, defensive holding, gave him a first down. A bear to Allen, 41 yards, and the score. Here's the replay in slow motion. Bobby A bear. And Holloway finds the seam in that prevent zone. And he is off for the next tee plunge. Touchdown. Oh my God. The ever important extra point by Bajovic. And it's good. It's good. 26 23. Michigan has a timeout. Here comes the onside kick. Cleveland has the good hands team on. The odds of getting this back are slim to none, but it's the only hope for the Panthers as another Copa America Bowl comes down to the stretch. Bajovic puts the ball on a funny angle on the tee. Here's the onside kick. Can the Panthers recover? No! Cleveland has it. And Paul Brown breathes. Oh, you can see him hyperventilating on the sideline. He breathes a sort of sigh of relief. Michigan does have one timeout. Graham, victory formation, takes a knee. Michigan will use their last timeout. The Browns look, unless there's a biblical collapse. The Browns look to be going undefeated finally. And in season four, they will take home their first championship. The Browns have been favored to win every year. And finally, in season four, Michigan uses their last timeout. Otto Graham takes a knee. That's it, folks. That is it. The Cleveland Browns go 16-0 in the regular season, sweep through the playoffs undefeated, and in a tremendous tight struggle in Copa America Bowl IV, the Browns hold on 26-23. Bobby A. Bears heroics at the end were not enough. Wow. Unbelievable game. Cleveland with 301 yards of offense. Michigan 336. Cleveland overcame four turnovers. 
Four interceptions from the arm of Otto Graham, and they overcame it. Of course, they blocked two punts, which gave them... Imagine if you don't block those punts. They got the ball point-blank range and scored. So I think the MVP goes to the Cleveland punt return team that blocked two punts. They're the MVPs. Let's go to the Michigan stats, and we'll start with Bobby Bear. 29 Completions, 42 attempts, 69% completion, 315 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. He was sacked four times for 21, 29 yards of loss. Otto Graham was god-awful, 14 of 32, two touchdowns, four picks. He did call that, well, they did call that gutsy flea flicker, and that was the kill shot. Alan Griggy was correct in the chat. He said Paul Brown went for the kill on that flea flicker. And that won the game. Um, rushing, Marion Motley, 18 for 76 in a touchdown. He also had a, a receiving touchdown. Leading rusher for Michigan, Williams, 17 for 41. They really couldn't get anything on the ground going. Receiving, Anthony Carter, 10 receptions. 108 yards and a touchdown. Holloway, I'm sorry, Allen at the end, the 41 touch, 41 yard touchdown pass from A Bear. He had three for 75 and a touchdown reception. Wow. Cleveland Browns. Dante Lavelli, three for 62 and a touchdown. The other touchdown reception, Mary Motley, two for 24 and a touchdown. Uh, Speedy had 51 yards with two receptions. And Eric Parsegian, that 17-yard reception was um, on a third down. That was a huge play. Defense for the Browns, leading tackler. They had two with eight. Rimkus, eight tackles, one sack. Adams had two sacks, and the fourth sack went to Gatsky, the linebacker. Actually, he had nine tackles, excuse me. He was the leading tackler. And the one interception was Coella, and that was huge. Coella sort of saved the day once again. Uh, Christopher Slovic says, who is your MVP? Um, I said it a little earlier. It is the Cleveland Browns punt return team. They blocked two punts, and Cleveland ended up scoring two touchdowns on those two blocked punts as they had it very short distance to get the scores. So the MVP in my book goes to the Cleveland Browns punt return team with two block punts of Greenwood. I don't think we did the Panthers defense, did we? Panthers leading tackler Pennywell, the linebacker. Interceptions. Chat, uh, Chapman, Arnard, Greenwood and Davis. So the Browns somehow overcome four interceptions from Otto Graham and win by three. Kicking. Bajovic, three for four for field goals, two for two for extra points. Fourth and two, I would have went for it. I wouldn't have tried a 49-yard field goal. Or I would have ran a fake. Cleveland, Grozer was 2-for-2 two two for field goals, 2-for-3 for, for extra points, and he's the happiest camper that that extra point didn't cost him the game, the one that he missed. We normally don't look at punting, but we have to. Greenwood had two blocked. That set up Cleveland point-blank range to score touchdowns and that's your MVP right there once again the Cleveland punt return team with two blocks of Michigan punts Greenwood's punts were blocked twice so in Copa America Bowl 4 the 1948 Cleveland Browns out of the All-American Football Conference are victorious 26 to 3 ending the season undefeated and champions for the first time in 
the WFL, USFL, AAFC League as they defeated Michigan, 1984 USFL, for the championship. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the game. I'd like to thank Christopher Slovic, Beatles Eternally. Check out those two wonderful channels. HC0023, thank you. Clinton Parks, thank you very much. Alan Griggy, thank you. Continue to scroll up. Dave Garner, thank you very much. Check out his wonderful channel. And, of course, of course, Digital to Dice on Spreaker or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to for all your sports sim subject matter and discussion. He, him and uh, Ron Juckett, wonderful team there. Occasionally I get to go on with them. It's a lot of fun. Continue to scroll up. Tribes fan 879 thank you. Check out his wonderful YouTube channel. And Philip Reynolds and Jim L. Hope everyone enjoyed the game. It was a ton of fun. And I think going forward, we'll just... I think we'll do... When I do another stream of this, I think I'll do one stream. We'll sim the whole year. Whether I do it all at once or we go week by week and I sim it in the one stream. And then... We'll go through the playoffs, and maybe we'll show you a little more playoff games and stuff like that. But I like I had to show you a championship game because the other three were so good. So thank you very much. Health and happiness. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people the way you want to be treated. God bless. The Browns go undefeated finally. They get a championship in the fourth season of the WFL, USFL, AFC as they win Copa America Bowl 4, 26-23 over the Michigan Panthers, who have yet to win one. Uh... Greatly appreciate your time. God bless. You know what's coming, folks. Peace!